Hey, what is going on, fellow YouTubers? This is Heath Nation 2465 and I wanted to make this video as a follow-up to a, one of my more popular videos that I uploaded two years ago. For those of you that don't, wanna, don't know what I'm talking about, sorry if I'm stuttering a bit, I'm operating on a few hours of sleep here, but um, back in 2020 I uploaded a video when the Chinese virus was still a thing where I ranted about Dish Network and how they were screwing over their customers, how they kept blacking out uh, Fox Sports so that way we couldn't watch Reds games, we couldn't watch the Blue Jackets games. They kept screwing over the people in the state of Ohio. Um, a little update, uh, we did switch over. We now have Spectrum through Roku. Uh, Big Bang Theory is on right now, but uh, I just got done watching AEW. Orange Cassidy is the new AEW All-Atlantic Champion. Thank God for that. He, he's he been needing a title for a long time. But putting that aside, the reason I'm uploading this video, Black and White Sports, who just got demonetized, by the way, thanks a lot, YouTube. Now you don't, not only are you screwing over Corey, you're screwing over Black and White Sports, and you screwed over my friend Mary Mayhem. So, Susan, if you're watching this, fuck you, cunt. Your fucking site's going to shit, and it's all because of your incompetence. But putting that aside, my rant for a moment, on Black and White Sports' second channel, they uploaded a video talking about how ESPN got blacked out by Dish Network during college football week. This was about two weeks ago, I want to say. And it just reinforces what the hell I've been saying about Dish Network for the past two years at this point. And I see all, all the people in the comment section were talking about, oh, it's Disney's fault. Disney's covering their own ass because they're going to shit. And they couldn't come to a deal. Dish Network is just as responsible for this bullshit as Disney. You know, if you're gonna, you wanna blame Disney, that's fine. It, they are a dumpster fire right now with everything that they're doing with Marvel, everything that they're doing with the Star Wars bullshit. Like, I get it. But Dish Network is just as responsible. I mean, I think someone in the comments said that they lost, like, what was it, 200,000 uh, subscribers within the last quarter? That's not a coincidence. That's a trend. It's a trend of screwing over your customers time after time after time after time again. To the point where it's just like, well, we're not going to be able to watch anything because you just keep asking for money. You keep screwing over the consumer and blaming your vendor for all the bullshit. And now, all these people, that's the reason why people are unsubbing the Dish Network. I've been saying it for two years. No one wanted to believe me until now. Dish Network has become a fucking dumpster fire because they don't give a fuck about providing their consumers... With proper entertainment. They only care about the bottom line. Money. And they have no issue blaming all of these other companies. Well, you just couldn't come to the table and make a deal. You couldn't just make an agreement. You're not even trying to make an agreement. You're not even trying to an ex accept an offer. You're not even trying to do what's best for your consumers. You're just letting them walk over you while you walk over the consumer. And that's why people are unsubbing to your shit, Dish Network. I don't give a fuck. I don't give, go ahead and take down my fucking video and suck my dick while you're at it. Honestly, it's coming to the point where these companies like Disney, like Warner... I mean, you're seeing it now where they're coming out with their own streaming services. You can watch any of their shit at any time if you have the subscription. You pride yourself on Disney? You can use their app. Watch National Geographic. Watch the old Disney movies. Watch Marvel. Watch Star Wars. Same thing with HBO Max. You can watch anything Warner. Looney Tunes, Ed and Eddie, Boondocks. Anything. How could they say no? And these companies like Dish Network, they're afraid of this. 
they are fucking terrified of this. So they're trying their best to level a deal for money. And then when an appropriate deal comes to the table that will net them money for their coffers, they're just like, nah, fuck you. We're just going to screw over the consumer. And people are like, oh, there's no other alternative. We get direct TV. I'm like, get Spectrum as much... If you look, if you just avoid Spectrum news because of how liberal they are, it's a decent service. I just hate using it on the Roku because you don't have any number. You don't have numbers on that damn remote, but that's beside the point. I tried warning you all. I tried warning you all about just how bad these guys were. And how much shit that they were in. Don't know what else to tell you guys. Till next time, I'm Altro. I need some sleep.